Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Game, and today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get the best colors and graphics when you're playing on your PlayStation or Xbox in Call of Duty Vanguard. So let's go ahead, jump in the video right now. So if you are on the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, you can get some serious detail when you're playing Call of Duty Vanguard. So I'm on the PlayStation 5 right now. If I press the options button and then scroll on down to settings, then tab over to the graphics area. Now make sure you're doing your safe area and just have everything aligned at the edge of your screen. Then go on down to color customization. Now at the top, there is three different color filters. You can scroll through these and choose the one that you think is best. For me, I like filter number one. But then go down to color filter target and choose world or both for that filter to take effect. Then scroll on down to field of view. If you haven't touched this setting before, it should be around 80. Now field of view will allow you to see more on your screen if you increase this. So the default is 80. If you look at the picture to the right, if you increase it to like 120, you are literally getting like twice as much coverage on your screen that will allow you to see objects on your sides or up and down much, much easier. So I would highly suggest increasing your field of view to at least like 95 to 100. Now, to get some of the best graphics, make sure you have Fidelity FX CAS turned on. Then you can go to show more and you can increase the strength of this all the way to 1.0. Now, what is Fidelity CAS? Now, on here, it just says the sharpness of the screen rendering is enhanced. So basically, this will sharpen the images and the details that are usually somewhat blurry on the screen. Now, you're not going to be able to tell too much from my screen when I have it turned off versus when I have it turned on. But I notice, like, in some of the areas that are kind of, like, a little bit blurry, they're about 5 to 10% a little bit more sharp. If you are on a 4K HDR TV, you should be able to notice this when you turn it on and off. Now, under that is on-demand texture streaming. If you have decent internet, you can go to this and turn this on. And then scroll on down. And this will allow you to download high-quality textures to your console storage from the internet as you play the game. Providing more color and detail on surfaces. So that is something you will want on. So... For me, I allocated texture cache size large. So if you do have a bandwidth limit for your internet though, I suggest putting some kind of limit on here so it doesn't use up too much data. Now to get some of the best colors on your PlayStation or Xbox, you have to do this through the console settings. So if I go to the home screen on my PlayStation and then go up to the settings, we can adjust the high dynamic range by going to screen and video. Then going to video output and then going to HDR. Now, HDR stands for a high dynamic range. This will be able to give you better colors and more accurate colors. So let's go to this. Make sure we have this on. Then go to adjust HDR below it. Close Call of Duty Vanguard and go through this tutorial here. And you want to pretty much adjust your screen so the image inside the box is barely visible. Then go to next. Do on screen two, and then do on the last screen two for the darker image, and press OK. And this will affect how it looks in your game. So the better you adjust it, the better and more accurate colors you will have in Call of Duty Vanguard. So if these tips did indeed help you, go ahead and leave this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Gaming.